been ages since I did any kind of vlogging. I would say like probably two or three months. And that's because, well, I've been working on this new channel. Um, it's called How To Live Slow. And there's a couple of videos up on there now, but I've just been taking a bit of a break, getting on top of, uh, you know, my routines and habits. And Lewis has started daycare now, so we, we're finding a new rhythm with that. But because he started daycare, then we had all the bugs that you get when a kid starts daycare. Um, he had um, gastro, and then he had hand, foot, and mouth, so we were housebound again for another week. Um, so, yeah, it's been, there hasn't been much to report. And the house has been at lock-up stage for a while. So we have been in there a couple of times, but there's not much changing on the outside. So um, handover is going to be in four weeks' time, which is very exciting. Yeah, it's going to be 34 degrees this today. So Rolly's gone off for a golf weekend, so me and the boys are going to go for an early morning walk and get some energy out before it gets too hot. It's only about... It's like quarter to seven. So we're getting ready, but Lewis has just come in full of mud. So for today's video, I just thought that I would show you, um, I have done a little bit of filming, but never enough to create a whole video. So I thought today's video would catch you up on the progress that has happened. Do you want to say hello? Hi. Yeah. Yeah, I've got snot. We're going to get you dressed. Yeah, you did. You bopped your head on the wall like that. Oh. <laughs> oh. Does that hurt? Are you okay? Did that hurt? Do you need a kiss? Oh. And Lewis has been, you've been extra fun lately, haven't you? You've just reached that age of not a baby anymore. He's a proper toddler, aren't you? Anyway, so enjoy the rest of the video with all of the bits of catch yeah. up and including the house and including this little guy um, and we will see you soon I will be doing more videos because it's coming up to Christmas if you're a mum and you're interested in slowing life down a little bit I have my new channel called how to live slow can you stop bopping your head you're hurt you're doing it on purpose for a cuddle aren't you it's called how to live slow and I've got just talk about like a bit more about slow living and um, minimalism and all of that sort of stuff just the way that you know the things that I've always talked about on this channel um, if that's something that you're interested in I'll leave a link in the description box so you can check the channel out I would love to have you over there anyway gotta go and I will see you soon bye say bye Right, Lewis? Smile. Lewis. Good morning. So are we going for a walk? Yes. Yes. Where are we going to go? Nowhere. We're going to go to the park. the park. Yes. And we have to get a coffee and we have to stop at the house and have a look and the see what park. they're up to. The new park. The new park. Okay. And I'm going to get a hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Okay. We'll see. Um, so, we're about eight weeks away from the house being finished, give or take. It's like currently mid-October, so we're hoping that we get the keys before the end of the year. So that should be about eight weeks away. I need to start researching pretty heavily on what kind of fence we want. So I'm going to walk around the streets and have a look at different fences with the kids and film them and then capture kind of ideas about how we <laughs> what we might do for our fencing um, so let's go do that so there's this kind of fence which we will obviously not be doing all right this is it oh look at that plane just right there it's hard to see actually let's go around it's been painted be able to tell a lot better. Only the top level's been painted. Look how beautiful the jacaranda is. Laundry. <laughs> 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 
dramatic. And then there's this kind of fence, which is six foot high, you can't see through. I personally don't like this kind of fence because we've got lovely views of the park. And there's brick, which I also don't think I'll be doing. No, I really like this. This is a pedestrian gate and the, um, it's a gate that slides, like similar to what we already have, which I really like. And there's the hedge style, which is also pretty cool. It's a fence made of plants, but the dog will get out of that. This is another kind, and there's this kind. Come on. What is it? Do you want me to come and look? And there's this kind of fence with pole tops. So there's this option with scooping. Or it could be straight. Bad. It's the plants on the front. The low fence with trees, which I really like. Okay, that is super cute. Little entry. I put paneling in. This is cool. So it's a six foot fence, but it has a gap. That's cool. Seems like most people in the suburb are going for this kind of style varying heights. This is a different kind. It's concrete pillars with wooden slats running horizontally with quite a gap. Another version of the concrete pillar but this time with metal. All over. Everywhere. My chin and on my nose. And it's on that where it's on chocolate sticks. I'm at Max Dust. <laughs> Oh, thank you, baby. There. <laughs> oh, yeah, great. Yeah, you can do some more. Like this? Yeah. Yeah, like a brush. I can take you. <laughs> yeah. Like a picture. Yeah, I'm like a picture. I'm like you like a camera. Oh. <laughs> Side, yep. The soft. That doesn't really matter. Uh, it doesn't. Uh, huh? It doesn't really matter, but it does. The house is being painted. Now across here, this is going to be where the fence is, and across here we're going to put um, a trellis thing, just to kind of break up because this wall is sort of massive. Like it's really high, so. I really love that colour though, it's a nice dark, darkish grey. I'm going to have to join these down pipes up. This is the door. I am going to ask, the, they painted the door on the inside white. I am going to ask them to paint it black, or the colour. I love that little round guy up there. 